Well, mayor Bowser is adding more resources to DYRS to address the youth violence. Yes, yeah, so the mayor declared two public emergencies today on the opioid epidemic and a crime crisis impacting our young folks. Our Delia Gonzalez is live right now outside of the Wilson building in D. I understand this emergency calls for more places to shelter and detain youth offenders, right? Mm -hmm. That's right, and that goes into effect immediately. The emergency order calls for more resources in order to make all of this happen. The mayor says that it is just simply too dangerous for kids in our city to remain unchecked and unparented. Listen to these numbers. So far this year, 458 young people have been arrested for serious crimes, including murder. 151 juveniles have been arrested for carjacking, which represents a third of all carjacking arrests in the whole city. We're also losing children to violence, 15 killed so far, including five under court monitoring. So the emergency order increases the capacity at the Department of Youth Rehabilitation Services. They'll add a whole new unit to the detention center, uh, step up their rehab programs and secure more beds like Eric Flack had mentioned at shelter group homes and treatment centers, especially for girls. They said that, of course, is difficult, we're told, and that's why they will offer incentives for private providers. While we don't want any of our youth involved in the juvenile justice system, we want them to be in DYRS custody when they are, because we know whether pretrial or committed, they're safer. Having more space gives us that ability to ensure that they are safe. As I mentioned, we need to be able to classify kids and move them into different spaces uh, based on a number of uh, criteria that we look at. And so we're going to be looking at, do they have conflicts? Do they have uh, size considerations? We look at their age. And that was in response to my question, you know, how do we have more kids in the system and ensure that they're safe when we were hearing about overstaffing, overcrowding, understaffing, I should say, overcrowding and riots happening. In fact, we're told because of the mixing of ages and kids who had conflict all living together in one space, that's what led to some of the riots. So they're hoping that this will alleviate that problem. Coming up at six, hear from a mom whose child is detained at this very moment and she was listening in and said the one thing she didn't hear was how to keep kids out of the system in the first place. I'll have that story at six.